In this lecture, we'll revisit the concept of a spinal nerve, um, and we're going to talk about the nerve plexuses. So as you recall, when we talked about spinal nerves, we talked about them being the, the functional unit of the spinal cord is reflected in the spinal, curve, spinal nerve. And you can see that here. Here's a spinal segment and its spinal nerve. And for the most part, this is the, the basic plan with, um, with overlapping dermatomes, um, and very simple, straightforward um, pathways for the nerves. What I want to talk about in this lecture is the, the concept of a plexus, or a net. And that's where several of these uh, peripheral nerves are going to come together, and they're going to form a big network, and then they're going to split up again as they get closer to their targets. So in the next couple of slides, we're going to talk about the concept of a plexus, and uh, we'll go through some of the specific nerve plexuses that exist in your body. There are four plexuses that I want you to know about, or plexuses, it kind of, you know, potato, potato. So anyway, we have a cervical, which is going to be involved in the, the nerves that are coming from the upper cervical, so uh, C1 through maybe C4. We have a brachial plexus, and that again is going to overlap um, with uh, the Cs and some of the upper Ts, um, i.e. The, the cervicals and uh, thoracics. We have a lumbar plexus, which is down here and a sacral plexus. So these uh, different plexes have different uh, targets in the periphery. The cervical plexus is the most uh, cranial or the most superior of the plexes that I want to tell you about. Uh, it is, provides sensory and motor innervation to the head and neck, mostly the neck, um, and it has an odd kind of, of a distribution in that Remember when we talked about how you have, if there, here's the spinal cord, how the dorsal roots are sensory, the ventral roots are, are motor, they come together to form the spinal nerve, which is mixed. The ventral primary rami, when the spinal nerve uh, branches, you have the dorsal primary ramus and the ventral primary ramus, when it comes to the, sense, uh, the cervical plexus, what's a little odd is that we get a redistribution of fibers in that these nerves that I'm going to tell you about here are actually sensory nerves for the most part. So let's start at the top and kind of work our way through. We first have the greater auricular nerve, which comes up just in front of your ear. So let's draw in an ear. I'm not a real good drawer, but here's an ear and here's an earring. Um, and then below that is the lesser occipital, and this comes up and innervates the skin uh, behind your ear, kind of over your mastoid process, that big bony process that you can feel here. The transverse cervical goes in front of the neck and comes around and innervates this aspect of your anterior neck. The supraclavicular nerves come out and innervate the skin above your clavicle, supraclavicular over the clavicle. So they innervate this region here. The motor aspects of the cervical plexus are important in that the phrenic nerve is what innervates your diaphragm. There's a Feist song um, that I always sing to my students, so I'll sing it to you, and you can just zip through this really fast if it's just if it's too terrible for words. C, three, four, five, keeps the diaphragm alive. <laughs> and that are the, those are the levels that contribute to the phrenic nerve. Cervical levels three, four, and five. The phrenic nerve innervates your diaphragm. There are some more um, motor branches that also inter innervate the infrahyoid muscles. And those are the muscles that are just in, they're in the anterior aspect of your neck or your throat. And they are right under... The thyroid cartilage, you can feel your thyroid cartilage here. It's um, in males, it's in Adam's apple. And the infrahyoid mus muscles, the hyoid bone, oh, you don't want to palpate that, it hurts. But it's right up, way up in here. It, it's not comfortable. But <laughs> there's a whole bunch of muscles that attach your hyoid bone to your thyroid uh, cartilage and to your, uh, your sternum that uh, help with swallowing and moving the, the pharynx and larynx around. So those muscles are also going to be innervated by the cervical plexus. And I believe I have some pictures of that in the next slide. Yes. So here, I can't show you all the nerves, 
but I can show you the supraclaviculars, which are headed out here to where the, the, the clavicle is. Uh, this is the ref a reflected uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle. So uh, it's not innervated by the cervical plexus, but here are your supraclaviculars, and here are those uh, motor branches that are coming down to those intra infrahyoid muscles. So you can see some of these. Um, it's hard to see them all in one, any one dissection, but you can see some of these. And in the next slide, I'm going to show you the phrenic nerve. And here's our phrenic nerve. And it's coming down out of the cervical plexus, down through the thorax. Uh, it goes just lateral to the heart, and it heads straight for your uh, diaphragm. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the brachial plexus, which innervates your upper extremity.